Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from quadratic equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let alpha be a root of the equation one plus x square plus x raised to four equals zero. So basically when alpha is the root, of this equation given to us, then the question is asking us to find out the value of alpha raised to 1011 plus alpha raised to 2022 minus alpha raised to 3033. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, they are one alpha, 1 plus alpha and 1 plus 2 alpha. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So first of all, if I start off with the question, they have given to us alpha is the root of this entire equation. So instead of x, I'll substitute alpha everywhere. So my quadratic equation becomes 1 plus alpha square plus alpha raised to 4 equals 0. So once I get this, now if I compare this with my original quadratic form, that is ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So from here, if I rearrange this alpha raised to 4, I can write that as alpha raised to 4 plus alpha square plus 1. So instead of x, if you see you have the variable as alpha square and you have to find the value of x from this general form that is given to us as x is minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now, when we say instead of x, you have the variable as alpha square, your variable becomes alpha square equals b, a in this case is 1, b is 1, c is 1. So you get minus 1 plus minus root of b square minus 4ac. So b square that is 1 minus 4a and c over 2a. So you get minus 1 plus minus root of 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 over 2. So from here you get minus 1 plus minus root 3i over 2. So you get this complex roots for alpha square. Now, once you have the complex roots for alpha square, and when you see this roots, we get reminded of one idea that is complex cube root of unity, that is omega cube equals one. So from there, we get omega cube minus one equals zero. That gives us omega minus one into omega square plus omega plus one equals zero. So that used to give us omega as one or you used to get omega square plus omega plus one equals zero. Now again, if you see and compare this with our given quadratic alpha raised to four plus alpha square plus one equals to zero, you get it is same. Instead of alpha square, you have your omega. So if I solve this also, you're going to get same with the formula method that one minus one plus minus root three i over two. So you get this entire thing. Now, once you have this same root for omega as well as alpha square, so if I compare, I understand alpha square, it's nothing but omega. Now, once I know this, now if I solve for the question, which was given to us that said alpha raised to 1011, alpha raised to 2022 minus alpha raised to 3033. So if I solve for this, and if I try to convert, first of all, alpha square in terms of omega. So I can write this as alpha and alpha raised to 1010. So basically, I'm splitting 1011 in terms of alpha square. So I get alpha and this becomes alpha square raised to 505. Because 2 into 505, you get 1010. Same way, if I do it for this, I get alpha square it's directly an even number so i can write it in terms of 2 as 2 into 1011 so you get that alpha square 
raised to 1011 minus here if I do it alpha and alpha raised to 3032. So I can write that again also in terms of alpha square as 1516. Now I get here from this question alpha this is omega raised to 505. So instead of alpha square everywhere I can just substitute omega. Here also I get omega raised to 1011 and here also I get omega as raised to 1516. Now once I have this entire thing alpha I know omega cube that is complex cube root of unity. So omega cube we know the value is 1. So let's try to convert all the powers of omega to the power of 3. So if I divide 505 by 3 see what we get. So you get 3, 1 is 3, 20, 3, 6 is 18, 25, 3, 8 is 24. So 1. So you get 1 omega and the other left out, I can write that as omega cube raised to 168. So 3 into 168 which is 504 and this 1. So you get the total omega values 505. Same way for the next term, if I do it, omega. Again, if I try to convert it in terms of cube, let's divide 1011 with 3. 3, 3 is 9, 1, 1. 3, 3 is 9 again, 21, 3, 7 is 22. So you have omega cube raised to 337 minus, next you are left with alpha. So I'll write first alpha and omega raised to 1516. If I try to split it again, 1516 dividing it by 3, 3, 5 is 15, 0. For 1, if I take, I get 0 because it's not divisible. It is less than 3. So 3, 0 is 0 and 16, if I do it again, 5. So you get again 1 left. So you write that up. Omega, which was one left, and the other omega cube, I can write that the power of 505. So you get from here alpha, this becomes one, this becomes one, this becomes one. So the values of omega cube, you have that as one. So one raised to anything is always one. So you're left with alpha omega. Here you have one raised to 337, which is one minus alpha omega. This is also one. So this and this gets cancelled you get the answer for the question as one. So if you see the answer choice that were given to you, from that, for this entire expression, you got that alpha also cancelled. And when alpha is cancelled, this three cannot be the answer choices. So you get the answer for the question as one. And that matches with our answer and option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the quadratic formula to find the questions and the roots of the solutions of the quadratic equation given. So we use just this formula to find the values of alpha square, which actually matches with the values of omega, where omega cube is complex cube root of unity. So once I get that, I got the understanding that alpha square is same as omega. And once I get that in the expression, I try to convert my values of alpha in terms of squares. So here one alpha was left, but the other alpha square I got converted to omega. Same here, I got directly everything converted to omega. And here again with one alpha, you got alpha square converted to omega for the rest of them. And then I just use the idea to convert omega raised to some powers in the terms of omega cube. So I can put that as one. So with that, I got alpha cancelled and from there, I got the answer as one, which matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we're going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying this videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. Do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are doing on everyday basis. See you again tomorrow with one other video. Thank you.